Now that RC playing pirate decided to do one of these Gen's Ace versus Nanotech tests. Uh, kind of settled the debate as I don't think anyone else has done it the proper way really. Um, I'm testing the 2200 milliamp Nanotech and the 2200 milliamp Gen's Ace. Gen's Ace is the 25C one and the Nanotech is the 45 to 90 C discharge battery. I'm going to be testing it on a 35, 36, is it out of focus there? Yeah, 35, 36, 1500 kV outrunner on a JXF 8x5 prop. And I'm going to be testing it on my thrust rig uh, with the wattometer. See what the thrust difference is. See what the watt amps difference is. Uh, with the same motor and the same prop. Which is how it should be done really. Okay, then I'm going to test the nanotech first. Okay, so let me get that plugged in and I'll come back. Okay, have the nanotech all plugged in. And what meter is all set up. Scales are zeroed. Let's see what we get. What we get. I'm going to go up to half throttle and then give it a burst. Seven thirty one point seven four amps, three hundred and fifty watts. Okay, I didn't particularly take a look at what the thrust was. I'll have to go back and have a look. Okay, next up would be the Gen's Ace battery. Okay, now have the Gen's Ace battery in. What meter all done? The scales are zeroed. I've looked back at the footage, I've got a peak of 1260 grams and it quickly dropped down to around uh, 1220 grams of thrust with the nanotech. So let's have a look what difference I get on this one. extreme difference in thrust there as I said this is the same motor same prop and everything and the difference I got was well the voltage drop didn't go down as far 34.7 amps and 405 watts that was something like 50 watts more power and it looked like almost a hundred grams more thrust Let's have another look at that. Yes, that was a hundred grams more thrust I got on that than the nanotech. I mean, both of them are, they're not brand new. I have had them a little while longer, although the uh, Gen's Ace I've had for oh, more than twice as long as I've had that nanotech and the Gen's Ace has been used probably you know twice as much and I think that Gen's Ace battery is getting on for a year and a half old and the nanotech is I'm not sure six to eight months old so there's quite a difference I mean, uh, both have been both have been used quite well, um, but that was 
that was a surprising difference actually I got on the uh, on the thrust and on the water meter um, so make your own judgments um, to be honest I am a little disappointed with the performance on that nanotech um, maybe uh, I mean it was left for a little while um, but not not any longer really than that Gen's Ace has been left I haven't used them both for a little while but um, yes that was quite a difference well that was my test I got on there maybe some people will call that the definitive test or not I don't know but uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think alright thanks very much bye